Yo, what's up guys, Nas UFC here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do every single takedown in UFC 5. Uh, so this video is strictly going to be a takedown guide. I'll make a takedown defense video at another date. And if you guys want a takedown defense video, make sure you drop a like on this video and make sure you drop a comment that you want that. And I'll definitely make that for you guys. But again, guys, this is strictly a takedown guide. So I've got a controller on the screen to show you my inputs. If you ever get confused with what I say, just either replay it or watch the uh, controller on the screen and just look at the inputs and just like copy it. But yeah, if you get confused in any areas, comment below and I'll try to explain it better. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right, guys, very simple to start off with. The first takedown I'm going to look at is the single leg takedown. All you've got to do is hold down the left trigger and press square and X together. That's on PlayStation. Xbox, that would be X and A together. So we'll play this. That's how you do it. Watch the control on the screen if you need to. Hold down the trigger, square and X. You just got to tap it to get that single leg. Guys, from distance, if you hold down L2, square and X, you will do a single leg shot, or I think it's called an ankle pick, whatever you want to call it. A Khabib takedown, whatever. But you'll see, I hold down L2, square and X, we'll do a shot. You've got to be at distance just like that to do this. And that will put you straight into side control, just like that. All right, guys, so next I'm going to show you a single leg turning takedown. So I'm going to shoot a single leg again. We both know how to do that now. It's L2, square and X together. But now he's going to deny it. And if he denies the takedown quite late, the game will give me an option to turn the takedown either up or down using the left stick right. So watch the controller. I'm going to shoot a single leg. He's going to deny the initial takedown by holding down the triggers. But because he was late... I've got the option to turn it up or down. In this situation, I turn it down. I'll show you how it looks like. So watch the controller stick if you want. I shoot a single leg and I turn it down and it puts us in side control this time, just like that. All right, guys, so now I'm going to turn the takedown the opposite way. But don't get confused. Now I'm on the left side, but before I was on the right side. So I'm going to be turning it down again. But if Oliveira was on the other side and I wanted to turn it the other way, I would have turned it upwards, if that makes sense. But because he's on the right side, the game flipped the camera angle for some reason. I'm going to be turning it down again, and it should put me in half guard instead of side control. So we're going to play this. I'm going to shoot a single leg and turn it down and puts me into half guard. But remember, if Oliveira was on the left side and I wanted half guard, uh, I would have turned it up to get half guard, if that makes sense. So I'll actually just go back for you guys. If, it, if we were here and I wanted half guard, I'd have to turn it upwards, if that makes sense, on the stick to get half guard and downwards uh, to get side control. That's if we're both in orthodox. If we were both southpaw, then that will switch again. If I wanted side control, then up. If I wanted half guard, then down. If you're on the right side like this. All right, guys, the next takedown I'm going to show you is the double leg takedown. Very easy to do. Just hold down the left trigger, press triangle and circle together, and you just got to tap it. On Xbox, that will be left trigger, Y and B together and you just got to tap it. You don't need to hold it down, unless you want to do a slam, of course. So we'll play this. So I'm Khabib again. I hold down the left trigger, and I tap triangle and circle together like that. Puts you straight into full guard. All right, cool, guys. So now I'm going to show you how to turn the double leg. Exact same concept as the single leg. Shoot your double leg, and if your opponent denies it quite late, then the game will give you the option to either turn it up or down using the left stick. So the left stick is your left one, of course, this one here. And I'll play it for you guys. We're going to turn it up first of all. So you can see me turning it up and I get this, the uh, I get side control. And remember guys, the turning takedown only works if your opponent holds down the triggers quite late to defend the initial takedown. So we'll carry on. I'm going to show the other one you can do. So once he switches stance, um, if you go for a double leg and turn it downwards, it should put you into half guard. So we're going to do that now. I go for a double leg in a second and then turn it down just like that so guys re-watch it if you're still confused what remember watch the controller that will help you out a lot and you know it's it just takes practice all right cool guys the next takedown i'm going to show you is the power slam takedowns so instead of tapping the inputs you've got to hold down the input so to do the single leg power slam i'm holding l2 square and x together and that will lift them up then press x or circle to slam them to do the double leg, you hold down L2 and press triangle and circle together. Uh, you make sure you hold down the inputs. Then you lift them onto your shoulders. And then you can press either circle, X. I believe you can press square 2 to slam them. 
so it's easy as that. All right, guys, next I'm going to show you how to do takedowns from the over-under position. You can get this by shooting a takedown and then holding R2 to bail. Uh, this is also known as a double leg bail, so we'll watch this. So I shoot a double leg, and then I hold R2 to get the over-under position like this. And then from here, you can press R1 and circle, which would do like a little inside trip like that, puts you straight into half guard. All right, guys, so from the same position, if you hold R1 and press X, then you'll do like a judo throw. I don't know what the actual judo term is called. Maybe one of you guys can tell me in the comments. But on Xbox, that would be R, B, and A. And just focus on my controller, really, and just translate it onto your own console. Here we go. R1 and X throws him just like that, puts you straight into side saddle. Guys, also very quickly, I forgot to mention that the inputs change depending on what stance you're in. So I'm in orthodox, so if I double leg bail and I get into the over-under position, if I press R1 circle, like I showed you guys earlier, it will do an inside trip. And if I press R1X, it will do the judo throw. But if I was in southpaw and then got into this position, then it would be R1 circle to do the judo throw and R1X to do the inside trip. But now I'm going to show you guys how to pull guard, so we'll play this. And to pull guard, you just hold R1 and tap square. Square is your lead punch in orthodox. Remember that. So that just pulls guard and puts you into full guard like this. And then if he stands up, oh, camera bugging out. I'll go for the double leg bail. And now I'm going to show you guys how to pull guard and then flip him into mount. So this one's actually quite overpowered. So all you've got to do is hold RB or R1 and then hold down triangle, or you can actually just tap it, and that will put you straight into mount. Remember, guys, I'm in orthodox, so it's triangle. Triangle is my power punch or my rear punch. If I was in southpaw, then it will be R1 and square. But it's going to be R1 and triangle in this situation. So R1 triangle flips him straight into mount from here. From here, I can go for submissions, ground and pound, whatever. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to take the back. So you want to go for a double leg bail, and then you want to shoot a double leg takedown again by holding down L2 triangle and circle. And you don't want to hold it down for too long. And you want to move forward slightly and then stop moving, if that makes sense. Watch my controller inputs. That will help out a lot. So I go for the double leg bail right now. And then I hold L2 triangle and circle to take his back like that. But notice how I was moving forward for a second and then I stopped. All right, guys. So now that we've got back clinched, you could do a bunch of takedowns here. You could do like 10 takedowns. But the first... Uh, move I'm going to show you is the backpack. To do the backpack, you hold down left trigger, right bumper, and triangle. So PlayStation, that'll be L2, R1, and triangle. You can also press square two, I believe, but I press triangle in this situation. So I'll show you that. L2, R1, and triangle takes their back just like that. And then you, from here, you can go from the rear, for the rear naked choke, the arm bar, you name it. All right, if you press R1 and circle or R1 and X, you could do a throw which will put you straight into backside. So I'll show you. Remember, guys, it doesn't matter what button you press. It could be X or circle. So I press circle in this situation. That puts us straight into backside. All right, cool, guys. So if you hold down L2 and then drag them left using the left stick, then you'll you'll drag them into back sitting. And then from there, you could do a bunch of chokes and submissions. So I'll show you guys that. L2, drag him left, and you'll trip him just like that into back sitting. Right, cool guys, this time we're going to drag him forward, so we're going to hold down L2 and then drag him forward by moving the left stick to the right, if that makes sense, and that will put us into backside, so we'll play the video just like this, we're holding down L2, we're dragging him forward, and then, then you drag him just like that into backside. Alright, cool guys, now I'm going to show you how to do turning takedowns from this position, and a lot of people don't know this, but you can turn takedowns in the back clinch position, so what I just showed you guys, we're going to drag him forward or backwards. I'm gonna, we're going to drag him forward in this clip. So to do that, you hold L2 and then move your left stick to the right. So forward, basically. And then he's my opponent's going to hold down the triggers to defend the takedown, which gives me the option to turn the takedown either up or down. In this clip, I drag it down. So focus on the controller, guys. That will help out a lot. So we'll play it. We drag him forward in a second, just like that. And then I turn it down. And then you see how I hook his leg? That puts us straight into back sitting. All right, cool, guys. Now we're going to drag him forward and then turn the takedown upwards. So same thing again. We're holding down L2. We drag him forward with the left stick, and then we turn it upwards because we've realized that our opponent's denying the initial takedown. So we'll, we'll play this. 
We drag him forward, then we turn it up just like that, and then that throws him and puts you straight into backside. All right, guys, I'm actually going to show you two more turning takedowns you could do in this position. So now we're going to drag him backwards again, like I showed you earlier. So we're holding L2, and then with the left stick, we're going to move it left to drag him backwards, right? And then we're going to turn it down to throw him into side control. So I'll show you guys that now. We're holding L2, we turn it left, and then we drag it down. That puts us into side control. Guys, by the way, you're not able to do this in practice mode alone. You need to do this with a friend. My friend's got the other controller and he's, I'm telling him when to hold down the triggers so I can turn these takedowns. So don't expect to go into practice mode and then start doing all these turning takedowns. It won't work. You need a human to actually deny the initial takedown. Then the game gives you the option to turn it, if that makes sense. So now, same thing, guys. I'm going to drag him backwards, then turn it up this time. And it's, it's the exact same takedown as the previous one. Drag him back, turn it up, puts you straight into side control. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to do all the takedowns in the clinch position. This position is called single collar. Uh, to do the clinch, you've got to press square and X together. Uh, if you're southpaw, you've got to press triangle and circle. And like I said earlier, guys, the inputs change depending on what stance you're in. So I'm going to show you what R1 and circle does. It does like a single leg trip. So we'll play it now. So R1 and circle does a single leg trip. And guys, I'm going to mention it again. If I was in Southpaw, the input would be the opposite. So I'd have to press R1 and X to do that single leg trip. Just like that, it flips. Cool, guys. Another takedown you could do is if you clinch, you could press R1 and X, and that will do like a hip toss, which will put you straight into side saddle. All right, guys. Another takedown you could do from the single collar position is if you turn your opponent like I do here, then press R1 and circle, you'll trip them up. And then from here, if you want, you could just walk onto them, get stat guard. Um, you could dive on them and do ground and pound. You could do whatever you want. Right, cool, guys. So now from the single collar, if you press R1 and square or R1 and triangle, you put him in the tie whip position, I believe it's called. So I'll show you guys that. R1 and triangle puts him in this position where you're like this. From here, you can press R1 and X, which would do like a hip toss. I'll show you guys that now. And there you go. R1 and X puts you straight into side saddle. All right, cool, guys. From the tie whip position, again, if you press R1 and circle, you do like a single leg slam. So we're holding R1, press circle. You do that straight into side control. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to do a bunch of takedowns you could do on the cage. So if you, if you put your opponent on the cage and then take their back, I'll show you guys how to do that now really quickly. Clinch him by pressing square and X. Put him on the fence. And then, guys... Watch my controller, so I use both sticks because I don't know how to do it properly, but all I do is I, with both sticks, I just flick them towards his back, which is downwards. If it was the opposite way, then I'd flick it upwards. So, you know, you always flick it towards his back, which is downwards in this position, if that makes sense. If Khabib was looking at us, right, and Oliveira was looking at us and we could see his face, then you'd flick it upwards, right, to take his back. So we'll play this again. We take his back. You see how I flicked both sticks down just a second ago. Now we're here. From here, I'm going to go for the backpack, which is L2, R1, and triangle. And this is how you take the back. Just like that. I'm about to do it. Come on, Naz. There you go. That's how you take the back. Right, cool, guys. We're going to take his back again. But this time, we're going to press R1 and circle, which just pushes him forward. And you get backside just like that. All right, cool, guys. So we're going to take, we're going to clinch him. And now this time, guys, now that we're on this side, and like I said earlier, we can see Khabib's face. We can see Oliveira's face. They're looking at us. Now I'm going to flick the sticks upwards to take his back. So you can watch the controller cam if you want. We take his back by, fl I flick it up a few times to make sure the game registers it. That's what I like to do. And now I'm going to hold R1 and press X this time. And this will do like a throw. So I'll show you this. Oh, we got a bit fuzzy there. Let me just go back so you guys can see what I mean. So I stand up here, I clinch him, put him on the fence, take his back, R1 and X, throws him just like that. All right, guys, so you can also do slam takedowns from here, but these are kind of hard to get because your opponent can deny them quite easily. So you, all you got to do is hold down L2 and go for a double leg takedown or a single leg. You just got to hold down the input, by the way. Make sure you hold it down. So we're going to go for it here. Hold it down, triangle circle together, lift him up onto the shoulders. Uh, the same applies for the single leg. You can see him holding L2 square and X. And then you lift him up just like this. And then you can do whatever you want. You can slam him. Whatever you guys want. All right, cool, guys. Now I'm going to show you how to drag your opponent into back sitting. So all you got to do is hold L2. And in this situation, 
I would move my left stick to the right to drag him backwards. But guys, if I was on the left of Oliveira and Oliveira was to the right, then I would have to drag him to the left by holding L2 and moving the left stick to the left, if that makes sense. Just pretend like there's an arrow pointing out of your back, pointing backwards. That will help you remember. But in this situation, it's to the right. So we're holding L2 here. I'm going to play this. And then the left stick moves right just like that. And you go straight into back sitting. All right, guys, just like earlier, you can turn these takedowns too. So if my opponent denies the initial takedown by holding down both triggers, then the game gives me the option to turn the takedown once again. And remember, guys, you can turn the takedown using the left stick either up or down. In this situation, we drag it down. So I'm holding L2. I'm going to drag him backwards to the right using the left stick. And then I'm going to turn it down just like that. You see that? Straight into side control. All right, guys, we're going to look at a different angle now. So the exact same takedown as the previous one. We're going to clinch him, put him on the fence, take his back by flicking down on the sticks. And now it's a different sort of angle, right? We're on the right side, Oliveira's to the left. And I got a bit confused there, but make sure you guys don't. Remember, guys, to drag him backwards in this situation, because we're on the right side of Oliveira and he's to the left, hold down L2 and move your left stick to the right. I got a bit confused and started dragging the stick downwards, but you're not meant to do that. But I'm going to drag him to the right. He's going to defend at the initial takedown. So I then turn the left stick upwards towards the center of the cage, and that will throw him straight into side control. So we'll play it. I drag him to the right, just like that. Then I push it up. Bit confusing on the controller because I was a bit confused. All right, cool, guys. Now I'm going to show you takedowns you could do on the fence if you catch your opponent's front kick. So I've caught his front kick, and I'm now going to push him towards the fence. And all I've got to do is hold down L2. I don't really need to hold down the right trigger and then put him on the fence. That would initiate a single leg takedown and you'll drag him into half guard just like that. All right, cool guys. So you can actually turn that takedown that I just showed you because 90% of the time your opponent is going to deny the initial takedown, but the game will give the option to go for a turning takedown. And like all the other takedowns, to turn a takedown, you just got to move your left stick either up or down. So we're going to play this. He's going to front kick me. I'm going to push him towards the fence just like this. And notice how I'm already just dragging it down, my left stick down. I, I expect my opponent to deny the initial takedown because it's easy. All they've got to do is hold down the triggers, right? I'm dragging this downwards. And I know that I'm going to take his back, right? His back's here. And that will do like a suplex takedown, if that makes sense. So I'm, I'm like pointing it away from his back, if that makes sense. So I take his back just like that. And I do like a suplex straight into side control and now now we're going to stand up you know he's i'm going to try kick catch his kick again i fail here a few times but there we go i push him on the fence and now notice i'm dragging my stick upwards like this my left stick upwards away from his back that way towards like where his belly is pointing out of if that makes sense and that does like a double leg like this and it lifts him up puts him straight into side control again Right, guys, now I'm going to show you another takedown. So my opponent's going to throw a knee, and then I'm going to catch it. And by the way, guys, to catch strikes, to catch low strikes or low kicks, you need to time a low block. If you just hold low block, you won't catch it. You need to time it. So he's going to go for a knee here. I catch it, just like that. And then from here, you could do a, a few takedowns. You could just go for a normal takedown. But I'm going to press R1X here. And that just drags him down, just like that. From here, I can dive on him, ground and pound. I can walk onto him and then get side control or I can get stat guard, anything like that. All right, guys. So if he goes for a knee and then you go for a, 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 a double leg or a single leg, it don't matter. It will always be a single leg slam. Uh, you can lift him up and then slam him just like this. So I'm holding L2. I'm pressing triangle and circle together and I'm holding the inputs down. That will push him forward and then you'll lift him just like that. And then you can slam him, do whatever you want. All right, guys, if you catch someone's lead body kick, just like this, I'll show you. So he's going to throw a lead body kick. I'm going to catch it. And then from here, if you press R1 and X, you'll trip him over, you'll throw him on the floor, and then you can dive on him. I'll show you that now. So R1 and X. Remember, guys, we're in orthodox. We'll trip him like that. You can dive on him, go on stat guard. But he's going to get back up. I'm going to catch his kick again. Now we're going to press R1 and circle, but this does something different now. You trip him, but you also follow up, and you go straight into side control. My opinion, that's probably the better one to do. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to do a takedown reversal. So in order to do this, you need to have good wrestling stats with Khabib. 
And then looking at the controller, guys, you need to hold down left trigger, right trigger, and the right bumper, which is L2, R2, and R1 on PlayStation. And so your opponent needs to shoot a takedown for you to do this. You can reverse both the single leg and a double leg, but also you need to be like, you need to read it. You can't do this quite late. If you do it late, then you'll get taken down. You need to make sure you're pre you're pre-blocking if that makes sense. You're pre-pressing these buttons. So Oliver is gonna shoot a single leg. I'm gonna do a takedown reversal just like that, and that'll flip him straight into half guard like this. Right, cool guys. Now I'm gonna show you how to reverse his double leg. So the exact same thing. Hold down the left trigger, right trigger, and the right bumper, L2, R2, and R1. And he's gonna shoot a double leg, and I'm gonna reverse it with Khabib. So he's gonna go for it. And then I flip him just like that, and that puts you straight into side control. Right, cool guys, so I think I'm going to end the video there. I'm pretty sure I covered all the takedowns. Apologies if I miss some, but I, I should have got them all. But yeah, guys, let me know what other tips and tricks you want. I'll make them all happily. Uh, drop a comment down below. The comment with the most likes, I'll probably make a tutorial for that. So whatever you guys want, drop it in the comment. And if it gets a lot of likes, then I'll make that tutorial for you guys. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.